Um, Appreciate it. Did you feel like the Texans were a team that uh, had you know a lot of interest in you throughout the draft process? Did you get a chance to FaceTime or meet with them at the combine, any things like that? And also, yeah. what do you feel like you bring to the table just overall as a wide receiver for this team? Thank you. Um, yeah, um, those guys, um, they kept in contact with me um, throughout the draft process. I met with them at the combine, and um, I had a FaceTime, FaceTime calls with them as well. So um, it was great. Um, Great, great chemistry, and um, yeah, I just felt like it's 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 a great fit for uh, yeah, we, uh, us us two being paired up together. But um, uh, what was your second question? What you bring to the table as a wide receiver? I'm sorry, am I muted? Uh, what you bring to the table as a wide receiver, and just your overall uh, you know approach to the game. Um, I would say I'm just I'm coming in ready to work. Um, I'm hungry, eager to just learn. Um, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I just want to I just want to help any way I can, whether it is um, on special teams or um, a role in the in the receiver room. I'm just I'm just trying to help those guys out, help them get to uh, where they want to be at. Pat, Isaiah, welcome to, to Houston. Do you feel Appreciate like there's it. a do you feel like there's a strength of uh, for you playing outside, or, or do you have the versatility to play inside? Where do you feel like you're best suited at as a player? In college, um, I was I was mainly just outside because of um, just the the receiver depth wasn't that big, so um, I was limited into just playing outside. But um, um, I feel like I can play inside or outside. I would just I would just have to lock in and learn. Um, like uh, the plays from different spots on the field, but um, I feel like I can play anywhere if I'm um, given the opportunity. Aaron Reese, hey, Isaiah, you had a um, a huge jump in production from your uh, from one year to the next at Rhode Island. What do you, what do you attribute that um, that big jump for you to be? Um, I would say just just taking my craft serious in the off season. Um, not not taking a lot of a lot of time off. Just really just digging into digging into like my weaknesses and trying to just trying to improve and get better, whether it's like um, in the film room, watching, just, just saying little things that I could, I could do better on um, my route. Of course, my route running, I'm uh, just getting in and out of breaks. So um, I would just say, just taking my, my off season serious and um, just, just loving football, wanting to be better each and every year. Aaron Wilson. Isaiah, when you make the jump from the colonial athletic conference, uh, please, Feel like you know you'll will help you a lot as you make the jump in competition. I was for every player going from the college to the NFL it is you know a difficult transition. But just coming from a smaller school, how do you feel like you'll handle that? Um, I feel like I'll handle it great. Um, I play with a chip on my shoulder. I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to just come in and, and help any way I can. I'm not really looking at it as though I'm. I, I know I'm coming from a smaller school and all, but um. I'm just I'm just ready to play. I feel like once every, every once you get on that level, uh, you got to prove yourself at that point. So I'm just trying to prove myself and, and um, yeah, p- get p- uh, put my best foot forward. Cody, Isaiah, along the same lines as what Aaron talked about, um, some of your biggest games, some of the most impressive games you had were against the FBS teams: Virginia Tech, Ohio State. I think you you, you crushed UConn. Tell us about those games and, and, you know, was there maybe a – you talk about the chip on your shoulder. Facing teams like that, did you maybe take it to the next level on those on those big games against those those big teams? Yeah, you uh, you got you to gotta get up for games like those, especially um, coming in – coming from a conference that I came from, you don't really get a chance to play a lot of those bigger schools. So um, just embracing the, embracing the opportunity, um, just, just proving, your, proving yourself. And, um, yeah, just everybody can play at any level, I feel like. Um, it's just – if you if you got to, if you get your chance, I feel like if you take you got to take advantage of it. So I was just trying to take advantage of my opportunity and um, show me I could play a little bit. So yeah. Mark, did you have one? All right, we're having trouble with yours, Mark. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you now. Go ahead. Okay, Isaiah, two, two part question. Uh, one. Tell me about how you make the switch from linebacker to receiver, and number two, who do you follow? Who you pattern your game after? Oh, that was <laughs> you talking about my—that's my cousin. I, I I always play receiver. Uh, he he came oh, in. I saw I saw <laughs> I saw on your bio it said linebacker. So that was your cousin. Okay, well forget that then. Okay, cool. Forget that. 
Who, who, do, you, who do you pat in your game after uh, as a receiver? Um, I wouldn't say I, I, I pat my game after any particular receiver. I like just to watch a lot of great receivers just in the league in general. Um, like quick twitchy guys or like guys that can separate at the top of their routes. Um, I wouldn't name just in any one receiver. I like I feel like playing that receiver position is hard. And um, if if you have something in, in your game that I like, I try to just take it away and try to add it into mine. So, yeah. Pat, Isaiah, your initial thoughts on your interactions with uh, Bill O'Brien and, and wide receiver coach John Perry? Um, great guys. Um, really, really eager to uh, have me and uh, work with me and um, just – just trying to uh, get me get me up to speed with those guys at the at that level, and um, I would say I'm just uh, grateful for the opportunity. I thank those guys. Um, yeah, this is great right now. I, I can't even describe it, but I appreciate those guys for uh, believing in me and, and seeing something in me. And um, yeah, I hope to make those guys proud. DP, hi Isaiah, welcome to Houston. Um, have you, you has it sunk in that you'll be? catching passes from Deshaun Watson. How much have you, yeah. have you watched of him um, over the, over the years? Um, it, it hasn't sunk in yet. Maybe, uh, maybe later tonight it'll, it'll, it'll sink in, but um, yeah, I watch, I watch, I watched him. I've been watching him since he played at Clemson. So that will be pretty cool just to, um, yeah, just to get catch passes from him. So yeah, I, I'm just ready to get, uh, ready to get to work. 